You gotta suck hard. <laughs> like you gotta put in a lot of work. You gotta go like, oh, oh, oh my God, so thick. Today, I just got introduced to some new vending machines from my friend Ryan here, who's in the circus in Japan. Rocks it hard. Yeah. Thank you. This is the dude's got it. What's up, guys? And what kind of machines are these? These are meat gotcha machines. It's like a mystery. You don't know what you're gonna get. But who, who's our other guest star here? This is my wife, Tycho. Oh, and our baby on the way. Congratulations. Oh, I didn't tell you that, did I? Oh, wow, you got eat a lot <laughs> of Surprise! Meat. Yeah, wow. Surprise, everybody. <laughs> we got six machines. Two of them are the same. We're gonna do five machines. And what, it's a grab bag? You don't know what you're gonna get? So the, num the, the numbers don't matter. It looks like it has a list of right? things that it could possibly have, but also okay. maybe like the uh, okay the farm where it came from. Oh, okay, cool. These people look happy. I want to buy from them. <laughs> they got they're oh, holding the, they're holding yeah. the animals that you're probably gonna eat. <laughs> it's Jimoto from the we're supporting the countryside in Japan. That's good. All right, I go for number six. Three thousand yen. I like it. There's no image, so you, it really no is. Image. It really is a. Really it's a gamble. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the king's treasure box. Yeah. All right, coming down. It's exciting. Ta -da. Oh, look at that. Good packaging. Good packaging, yeah. And yeah. oh, it's you, got a story. You still don't know what you got. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's you still, still don't know what you got. It's like, what is it? Yeah. It's it's to be continued. You oh, really it cannot like tell. No, no, it's like meat. Meat. Oh, yeah. it like meat. Oh, oh, there's the meat. You can get a little glimpse in there. Can you open it? So oh, yeah. Give him a little, yeah, yeah. Give him a little oh, peek. Oh, 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 Wagyu, baby. Well, wait, wagyu? what's that? I don't know, but I like that Salmon marbling. What's this? Marbling is Oh, and there's another one. It's a three pack. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is that Namaham? What does that say? Wait, what is that? It says Yamadori. Yamadori. Is chicken? Chicken? Okay. It's like sliced chicken. All right. I'm happy with that. Wow. Happy with that. That's good. And then there, it looks like there's something from that farm. It looks like a little information booklet that may okay. have a picture of the chicken that you get. I will, I will study it. So what do you do in the circus, uh, Ryan? I am a flying trapeze artist. I'm a catcher uh, for the show Alegria in Cirque du Soleil. And we are touring Tokyo right now, which is pretty awesome. Get to be back in Tokyo. It's an awesome show, guys. So now I've seen them. I've seen them three times in Japan at different places. Okay. All right. What number are we getting? Are we going to do Eric Cirque Six? Are we gonna do? Try, try six and see if we get the same thing. Six. Wait, we don't want the same. It's a different machine, though, right? I, don't I don't mean, know, right? right? We're assuming that. We're assuming what's it's on the picture? It's yeah, because different machine, so you try to get some different. I think. Let's see. It's, it's, seven. Seven. Seven's my number. Okay. You do a different number. So let's try seven. Go. Cow. Cow. Cow? Yeah, buy it. Isn't that face? Cow. You might. Cow. Yeah, cow meat, beef. Cow. Is, I thought cow was face. Cow. cow. <laughs> Come on, baby, big money, no whammies. Ooh. Ooh. It's different. It's, it's different. natto. <laughs> oh, no, not the natto. No, no, no. Ooh, oh, that, yeah. jackpot. Sakamoto beef. Oh, baby. my God. That looks really good. Score. That looks so good. Wow. Look at the marbling on it. Yeah, that looks that's really good. You that's score. a good chunk of meat. I will enjoy that. <laughs> we did the beef, so we got a lot of meat. So I'm like, maybe we should try some fish. So. I'm letting change. Oh. There we go. Hope we don't get a duplicate. What is this? Is it different? It's different. Wait. So this is more of a seed. Seafood one? Didn't we just get? Let me open this. It's different. Oh, okay, oh wait, oh. wait, wait. We didn't we get this? Earlier? Yeah, we got this earlier. Yeah, we got that earlier. Oh wait, what is this? Oh shit! Look at that. Look at different. the smallest soy sauce bottle. And it's frozen. <laughs> it's so cute. It's soy sauce ice cream. That's so cute. All right, and then. I wonder if you can just, what does it look like? Oh, me, 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 me. it's good on rice. Uh -huh. Oh, wait. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. oh, and it comes, so both of them come with sauce. That's, that's a nice touch. That's a nice touch. Nice touch. Yeah. I got exactly 5,000 yen left, so we'll do the most expensive one. Just like, what is this, $40 US? Is this the most expensive? Yeah. It's so we saved the best royal, for last. Royal. That's like caviar, isn't it? The Russian caviar? Those are blueberries. <laughs> blueberries. <laughs> they, they, Japanese blueberries. Could be blueberries. Could be blueberries. Well, this, is, this is what I'm going for. Not the $40 blueberry. Pit. $50 steak, please. 
fifty dollars with two sticks. Maybe. I, I mean, two sticks. yeah. We're just a giant slab of wagyu. Right. This is exciting. Oh my god. This is so exciting. How much is this? Oh, 5,000. This is really exciting. It's the most I've ever put in a vending machine in one, one shot, I think. And what does this say right here? Like the three, four, and five stars. This is the luxury one. Oh, is this the royal? How rare, rare it is. I, it just, oh, I just, the rare level. It just right. has a bunch of... Oh, so they're all rated. Like, how many stars? Alright, we're gonna do six again. Big thumb. Let's Big thumb. Let's go. Yeah. Whoa, a it's definitely worth it. A4 and A5. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Whoa. A4 and A5. Yeah, I see that. A4.5. <laughs> this wow. is a score. You, were, you said, double, two, you said two of them and it was like... And that's 300 you you it. grams twice. I think that's worth it. Sukiyaki style. Okay. All right. Maybe we'll find a vending machine that has a barbecue. And if you'd like to follow Ryan, he's awesome on Instagram and TikTok. This this vertical content that people do. Hi. New age and YouTuber. Just gotta New hold, age. It, hold, it, hold it like yeah, this. Yeah, it's, but it's so age. hard to hold it like that. <laughs> but he's a master of it. Right so link below to some of his stuff. He's got some fun stuff. We'll probably put a link to this uh, video in one of my TikToks as well. So. Okay, awesome. Go. All right. Okay, and we're in Shimbashi Station. Got a new machine. Japan Tokyo Rokurincha. Whatever that means. Some more meats, chashu. Skimming. Oh, you can eat like, like cold ramens. This looks good. This looks really good. This looks good too. Yeah, let's get a couple of those. Did you say number six? Okay. Just want to make sure. You gotta take it out first before it'll let you buy more. Number eight. at the no sleep shop yeah what are they selling good links good life I'm baffled what the heck are these things it's called itoko no rusk oh rusk this, that's the type of uh, sweet right it's got butter in it this one's got anko I don't want anko this one's got caramel okay I like caramel this one's got milk a bunch of different types this is chocolate in this one and this one is butter sugar. Okay, so we got a bunch of different kinds. I'm gonna try the, uh, the caramel. Number one to three, it says. We'll take my card. Okay, I took it, that's good. Uh -oh, I'm trying to buy another one, I don't know how it works. Oh, here it is. Oh my goodness. This is like the best ever, right? Oh, what do we have here? Vending machine room, some laundry. Okay, let's scope it out. Oh yeah, snack vending machine, sweet. Snacks, let's see what we're gonna do here. Anything, anything new? Cup ramen's in the bottom. Chuckle pies, love those. Oh, we got some new stuff. There's a potato croquette sandwich. <laughs> Oh, we gotta do these again. This is these jagadikos. We gotta make mashed potatoes. We failed last time. I've been, I promised that we'd do this again. So let's do that. 
How much are they? 170. Got a sake vending machine. Beers, mixed drinks. This is something I've never seen before. What is that? I think it's what's that? Japanese shochu. Let's try that. Looks interesting. 200 yen. Let's do that. Mm, this one's cute, right? The uh, special reserve and water, watered down whiskey. 250. Okay. Something for Mega. I guess we do the highball for two that's got it, maybe. Okay. One more. There's three of us. There's one. There's two. There's three. Oh, oh, rolled into the machine. Get out of here. Come back to Papa. Okay. Okay, three drinks. One, two, three. Okay, finally, let's go home. Good, oh, I love the sound of that, don't you? That's bamboo, right? It's bamboo. It's bamboo, gotta love bamboo. So this is a very special Eric meal time because I am joined by both of my sons. You never see them together on camera because they live in different countries. Yeah, well, right. I like the one that lives in a different country. Seems like they both live in different countries. Exactly what I said. And you live in what country? Uh, America. America. Yes. And you live in Japan. Japan. Okay. So we have got quite a vending machines extravaganza set up for tonight because there's a lot of meat. Yeah, There's a, lot, a lot, lot of meat, and we're gonna go right in for the meat. We're not gonna waste any time with the best stuff first. So where are you gonna go? You choose. You're the guest. Well, I mean, you can't. go. The dude's got it, ladies and gentlemen. He doesn't have a you. You do have a YouTube channel. Yeah, it's up yeah. there somewhere. Okay. Yeah, you can find the dude's got it. All right. Well, this okay. Wagyu. We got. Oh, let's do the Wagyu machine. Vending. Well, first, Wagyu. should we do a come by? That's probably right. Because yeah, these came from a vending machine too, so choose let Mega choose first because he's okay, he's fine. the beginner drinker. This beginner one? drinker. Yeah, what I mean he's the youngest of the bunch. I'm gonna have the highball. Which is the strongest one of the three. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Highball whiskey and so And uh have you ever tried Shochu before? Yeah, so that brand I'm still like it's pretty popular where I live in my area in Torrance. I see that Ichigo brand quite often, but I've never seen like a cocktail. Like a canned cocktail made out of it. That would be Torrance, California. Okay, and Megas, this is a Suntory Whiskey Highball, and I've got the Special Reserve and Water. Also a whiskey cocktail. All right, let's crack them, boys. Yeah, I don't, yeah, mine, I just a twist off for mine. <laughs> Sorry, I don't crack. No, mine, I can, just I can smell off. that from over mine here. Mine is yeah. a twist off. Sorry, I don't All crack. All right, cheers. All right, I'll buy it. Welcome back. But I'm, uh... Ugh. Ugh. Oh, mine's kind of pleasant, actually. Well, let me try that one. I think I got the best one. Okay, that's right. That. Ah, give me, give me. <laughs> Kind of tastes like flavored water. So I mean, sake of our shochu is is interesting, isn't it? This is the best one. This is the best. You one. think he knows, right? Yeah, highballs are very that's popular. That's the best one. That's the best. You think? One. Hands down. Like, there's no way that. How did you know that? I just knew. These are like. <laughs> yeah. Oh, because it's carbonated. Yeah. It's carbonated. It's a little sweet though. It's a little sweet. I don't think there's any sugar in there. Could you could you check? I think there's zero sugar, but the carbonation. Makes it taste sweet, if that makes any sense. It's like it's, a, it's like a seltzer. Oh yeah. Well, right? whiskey is known to be. A I don't think sweet. there's any sugar in there. It's, it's soda water. Sweet, yeah. I think. It's good though. Right. It's good. Yeah. Can you verify that there's no sugar? Yeah, no sugar to me. But okay. isn't like whiskey like a little sweet though? Depending on how you mix it. Well, yeah, the whiskey itself. Yeah, whiskey. So the whiskey okay. itself is pretty pleasant. Okay. Yeah. So vending machine whiskey 
cocktails in Japanese shochu, which is made from, it's a potato base uh, alcohol, fermented potatoes. Take this. Worth a try. I'll take this any day. I think I'll take this any day. Not a shochu. I think okay, so let's get on to the meat here. <laughs> Look, we, let's just do the best one first. Because right. we know that you guys have busy schedules. We're not going to make you wait around for the best. And we want to eat the best first today. Before it gets cold. <laughs> while while, we're, gets while cold. we're hungry. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's go for it. All right, let's go. This is the, I think this is the 5,000 yen one, the most expensive one. Going in. Oh, oh my God. Chopsticks are both down on the floor. Oh my <laughs> gosh. I've already swallowed it. Mm. What do you guys think? Oh my gosh. Motion, yeah. Melts in the mouth. Melts. Oh my gosh. Okay, that is rocking. Mm. That's good. That's good. That's good. I like it if you wrap it in the salad. It kind of cancels out. Yeah, let me wrap one up for you. Yeah, it's good. There you go, dude. I just had one. <laughs> I have another one. <laughs> it's called Tabehodai. <laughs> Until it's all gone. Well, then it's not Tabehodai. <laughs> it's not Tabehodai. <laughs> and Tabehodai in English is? Could you explain that for our viewers? All you can eat. All you can eat. Mm -hmm. That's correct. God, it's so good. All right, all right. We've got to save some for Chef. Yeah. Chef's got to have some of this. Chef worked extra hard tonight preparing these dishes because you know, in every one of the packages, there was three separate packages. So times four, there was like 12 different things to cook. And you got to keep them all separate in the fry pan, right? So that the juices don't mix. So round of applause for the Chef. Let's do you it. guys even know how to applaud? It's kind of hard when you're holding chopsticks. What is chopsticks. this? Put the chopsticks down. This is just like a salute to the I, I, chef. Okay, that's good too. <laughs> Let me teach you how to applaud. Why can't I just use tools? You can, but I'm trying to teach you something. Mm, all right. Okay, ready? You got to pop it. I mean, nobody knows this. I, I mean, I was an entertainer for 50 years of my life, and I learned how to do applause. You never do this. That's only for European kings and queens. Okay, that's it. Piedome. This is how you applaud. It's like that. And you try to pop it. So you can lit the littlest amount of effort for the most amount of sound. Okay, that was like a f about 50-50 effort. The littlest amount? 50-50 success. But there's a pop sound, right? Rather than a... And it's the same amount of effort. Okay, you guys try it. Same amount of effort. Oh, you got it nailed it, done. 10 times, oh, 20 times better than me. Okay, you guys take over the show, what's next? All right. I retire. So, this is what, it, what do you, those are the sukiyaki. Sukiyaki, you want to go for the sukiyaki, because, you know, chef, she spent, she spent a lot of time doing that one. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, got to eat it while it's hot. Okay, so, um, I think you traditionally eat it with raw eggs, so, Mega, I think you cracked one earlier? Yeah. There you go. All right. I don't know if you, you do you prefer to mix it, or do you... You just go straight in. Oh, wait, that's yours. But I just go straight in. Oh, you go straight in. You don't even mix it. No. Oh, wow, ballsy. See, I like a little mix. Tastes a little better. Oh, you want, you want, hi. You do? Hi. Wait. Little hot peppers? No. Oh, no. Okay. All right. That's good. <laughs> uh, excuse me. <laughs> oh, that's. How's it? Very good. Very good. Well, that's the whole guy. You got to mix. Why? You can choose. You can choose what you want to do. Okay. He, he I, goes raw, I, so you can. I trust what he says. Okay. Because I haven't been here in five years, so I don't know. Okay. So I I prefer to give it a mix. You put me show you in that. See, that's a good idea. You can put. The, you know, you don't want it. 
ちょっとシュリーターーちょっとちょっと make it a little more soupy for me はいこのちょっと入れた方がいいんじゃないのはい Alright Alright well, What's the what's Do you go for this beef better or is the mushroom better? Beef. The beef, okay, so I'd go for the beef. Alright, alright. Alright, here we go. Mmm. 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 Beef is really soft. Yeah. Right? Or a little oily. Just a little bit. It, right? It feels a little oily because it's, um, what do you call it? Wagyu? Wagyu is known to have. I think the higher rank Wagyu usually has this marbling on top. So when you have that marbling on it, it's like all oil. Right? So the abra koi. Yeah, it's like it's. But you know, it's like a. Rich. Rich. That's the word I would use. It's very rich. Yeah, it tastes really good. I think the vegetables, kind of, I think I'd pair it with the vegetables to kind of cancel out all that oily flavor. But either way, it tastes great. Like, good job, chef. Good job. Did you guys do the noodles too? The noodles. See, I don't know if I want to get full right now. But okay, right now, well, okay, just, I'll just, try. just try just, just a bite. Yeah, a little Because it's in there, right? Just a mouth. Yeah, that's... Not noodles. a mouthful, just a bite. There we go. Ooh, so we're going to Because we got other noodle dishes. Ooh. Long, long, long noodle dishes. Mmm. Mmm. I like how the noodles, they kind of soak up the soup. But, like, it's very flavorful. Konyaku. Okay. Konyak table. Oh, they're konyaku. Okay, they're um. In English. I don't know how to say them in English. It's it's a potato type of noodle, kind of a, a transparent potato that it's made from konyaku. So yeah, that's unique and it's got yeah. this like a、uh, chewy, more chewy um texture to it. Kind of like mochi. Kind of reminds me of mochi, but、uh, not as chewy. It's good. Yeah. Okay. And the reason why I'm not having the sukiyaki is because I got too much. Eggshells in my egg when I cracked it and just had to discard the whole thing. It was, it was, a, real, it was a serious mess. So, so Chef said there's no more eggs. So, I'm, I'm in the、uh, penalty box. Okay? True story. My question for you guys is Do you like the sukiyaki meat better or do you like the wagyu that we had first? What's the better quality meat? Because I'm not going to have any. I'm, I'm in the、uh, penalty box still. That's a hard Actually,、one. I'm gonna have a little bit because <laughs> you guys are so slow. I mean, we gotta enjoy our meal, no? To answer my question, they're just different, you mean? Yeah, they're different. I mean, it depends what kind of cooking you like. But, oh, let's do it, man. They're different. They're equally good. This is very tender meat, too. I mean, they're the same ranked Wagyu. They're the same class Wagyu, technically, right? They're both like, what is it, A5 or something? Are they the same rank? Yeah, A4, A5. A4. So they're both、yeah. the same rank Wagyu, so they're probably equally but good. They're, but they're cut totally different. And they're cooked differently. So, yeah. And it's the, yeah, and they're flavored they're different. totally different. So, cooked different. two、it's、different、hard. animals. Hard to say. Same animal, but two different tastes. <laughs> sukiyaki,、uh, I mean, it's sweet. If you don't、that's、like a sweet, well, the sauce, sukiyaki, a lot of people、really、complain、depends. that it's too sweet. Depends who makes it. The Japanese love it. Depends who makes it. Some people make it really sweet. Yeah. Well, Some people make it really it's, sweet. Every time I've had it, it's been really sweet. So, wherever I went. All right. So, what's, what's next? Let's do the chef salad. The chef salad looks good. Okay. And the secret is the chef's dressing. Mmm. Mmm. Moving on, boys. Where are we going next? I see some more meats here. Let's get into those other meats. I believe this is ham. And I don't know.、Uh, this is a ham, too. That's ham, too? Yeah. Okay. okay let's compare them. Cured ham? It's just cooked. It looks raw. I know, right? That's、is、what this, we were is saying. Is this cooked? That's what、Rare? we were saying. Rare? Rare? That, no, but the packaging said ham. That's what we were thinking. We were like, it looks raw. raw. Yeah. It's raw ham. It's nama ham. Oh. But it's, it's cured. This, it's, let's, let's be honest. It's cured ham. This is what I want for every beer I drink. This is like supreme beer accompanied food. This is perfect for beer. You know what? This is raw ham. It's not cured. I take that back. Dude, it's perfect for beer. It's like the perfect、uh, drinking food. I'll chase it with this. Otsumami. Special reserve. Otsumami <laughs> Supreme. <laughs> King of Otsumami. <laughs> you think it's raw or is it cured? It's raw. What? It can't be raw, bro. You can't be eating that. You can't be eating it raw. I think it's cured. 
Or smoked. I mean, it, ha it has to be. Smoked or cured <laughs> or something. It's very salted. Cured or smoked, one or the other. So it can't be raw. The texture feels like it's raw, though, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Dude, this. Okay, weird. sorry, what were you talking about before? The other one? Oh, it's like both of them. Like, oh, did you try that yet? It's chicken ham. Oh, chicken ham. <laughs> Is there such a thing as chicken ham? Oh, I don't know. What do you guys like better? I haven't put it in my mouth yet. That's what she said. <laughs> Oh, the ham is ten times better. Wait a minute. That's chicken. I like the chicken better. Yeah, right? Yeah. Like, chicken has more of a thicker texture. Like yeah. You get, it's like it's more chewy, and I think I like the... It has a little more beef. It does, yeah, yeah, it has a better texture. It. Yeah, I like the beefiness of the Like uh, prosciutto, right? But prosciutto, See, I think, is pork. Prosciutto is ham, but th this has the texture of prosciutto, the chicken. Whereas this ham is more of a raw feeling. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our special segment. What's the segment called again? I keep forgetting. Cool stuff time. Cool stuff time. And today we're gonna have a little talk because you've got a new job at a Japanese onsen, which is a hot spring, where you basically it's a sauna and a bunch of different pools and it's onsen water that comes up from the bottom of the earth. Yeah. And it's supposed to be really relaxing. It is. That's what people do, right? And that's why you chose the job, right? Yeah. Okay. And you went today for your first time. Is I that correct? Went this morning. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Okay. So let me just explain just quickly about onsen. We want to make this really short. Okay. So basically, Japanese onsen, when you go, you got to take off all your clothes. Everything comes off, even like after the underwear. <laughs> it all comes off. Okay. All of it. So that's the first step. Just be comfortable. Hanging out with other dudes if you're a guy completely naked. It's not a big deal. It's just, right? It's not a big deal, right? Part if you're a culture. woman, it's the same thing. And, and actually, you do have a little towel you can cover up with, right? You do have a little towel that they give you. The towel is really cool because it's multi-purpose. Some yeah, people so use it me... to hide their junk. Some people put it on their head to keep it as like a sauna towel. So it's multi-purpose. And some people use it to scrub their back. To wash their back. So the little tall is actually surprisingly multifunctional. So I was like, that's actually kind of cool. You see people doing it. And people who actually understand the culture are able to use that tall in different ways. So that like separates the newbies from the people who actually go to the spa frequently. So what would you say is the main purpose of going to an onsen or hot spring in Japan? To chill out. To well, chill actually, out. you don't chill out. You actually warm up. <laughs> You actually warm up. What would you say is the main purpose of going to an onsen or hot spring in Japan? I agree with him. Chill out. Okay. But chill you get out. warm though. You get yeah. warm. So you don't actually, you don't chill out literally. You warm up. I think it's it's something that should not be overlooked. I mean, everybody has to go to a Japanese onsen when you don't have to go. But if you don't go, you're missing out. And they do have ones that are, what, unisex that you can go with and wear a swimsuit. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, they yeah, do yeah, have yeah, those yeah. as well too. Those so ones if you're cool, traveling as a couple, they those have those cool. as well too. Here we go, Eric. Meal time, <laughs> part two. We are back, and we have warmed up so the cool. entrees for part two. I think this is it. This is next, right, Megan? Yeah. Okay. So what do we got there? It's the salmon. We're gonna add some shoyu. Carpaccio. I mean, Carpaccio. That's how you say it. You put the sauce on it, and then it becomes a carpaccio. There so you know. so it's raw, it's cooked. What is it? It's raw. It's raw. It's raw and then you you know, you kinda of put these sauces on it to give it a little flavor. I believe the lettuce, I always like a lettuce, I appreciate it. that's a nice touch. But I think they call it a carpaccio if you kinda of like get a little sauce involved in it. So I think you're supposed to eat it with rice. Like that's kind of the main way they're selling this. But you unfortunately rice? our rice is occupied by the squid, so maybe we should do the squid first, but I don't know. It's up to you guys. Okay, either way, yeah, we can dig in there if you feel like you need rice. Let's do it. Hi. Right. Carpaccio. Yeah, carpaccio? Uh, what? Is that Italian? What What country? It's definitely European. Right? I don't know what country it is, but it's... I mean, it's... You know, it's nice. Is it French? I don't know. What Mediterranean? I don't help know. Us, help us out in the comments, restaurant man. Restaurant man. Restaurant people. Specifically, restaurant man, he knows. He helps us out in the comments a lot. 
Yeah. He knows everything about food, and he will answer your comment if you have a question oh, that I cannot it? answer or can't get to. Is your moderator? Yes. Oh. He's the best of the best. He knows what he's talking about. That's good. That's good. Yeah, so let us know. Carpaccio, which, uh, which country is it from? What word? And there's also the uh, ikura, right? Yeah. Mm. Which is, uh, what do you call this? Fish eggs? Salmon, right? Yeah, it's salmon roll. Yeah, so restaurant man, double I mean, check for that. It's serious. Fact Chop, for chopstick practice to Fact pick these up us. one by one. You know what that is? Squid. Squid, squid over with little wasabi. Little wasabi is always nice. Okay, and is this... Green this, onions and um, nori, which is seaweed, dry seaweed. Is this, is this cooked or raw? I oh, I yeah, hit it with the sauce, Mega. Thank you. Mm. I wouldn't have been able to figure that out. <laughs> Me neither. I totally forgot about that. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. Okay. Oh. Mmm. Mmm, that's it. That actually works pretty well. Uh, works pretty good. Works pretty well. Works excellent. Pairs well. Pairs well. Well said. Your English is good. <laughs> I've been there for five years. What did it start? The longer I'm away from America, the worst is her. The worst, the worst to sure my English gets. He's trying to say his vocabulary shrinks. That's right, it shrinks. That's good. Pretty well. It's really Sweet. good. Yeah, the squid has like a more beefier texture compared to a lot of the other fishes. It's chewy, chewy. But I kind of think squid's a little bland in my honest opinion, so that mm. sauce really kind of helps out with the flavor department. And, mm. and a little wasabi kind of, you know, gets... Gets it buzzing through your nose. It feels a little more fresh, you know? And okay. that, I think that kind of, like, balances out all well. I okay. like it. So we're going to talk about the squid for another 20 minutes, and then we'll get on to the next item. All right. Should we start a podcast? I would like to start a podcast about squid. That, that'd be a good episode. <laughs> but, you know, if you don't want to do it, yeah, he's more interested in his own underwear than anything. <laughs> so I got a idea. question for Megabrain6100. So you mentioned that this was chewy. Yeah. Chewy in a good way or in good chewy way. in a bad way? Yes, chewy in a good way. That's the trick with Ika squid. You want it to be a little bit chewy because that is the nice texture, but but able to break it down fairly quickly. But a lot of times when you do have squid, if it's cooked, if it's barbecued, even sashimi style, if it's not cut right, right? This is cut really nicely. It's really thin. Thinly sliced. That's. I think that is the secret, being thinly sliced. Then you get the chew, but you only got a, maybe, what, two or three seconds, and then you can break it down and swallow it. But a lot of times it's like an eraser. Yeah. In case you go more, right? And then you're just chewing it forever, and it's not a pleasant experience. So I just wanted to put that out there. Okay, what's next, Mega? Let's do the ramen. Ramen. You know, you're still California. The guy, the dude just excuses himself. He brings himself a beer and he doesn't even offer anybody else at the table a beer. It's, just, it's so typical of you California. Didn't, you didn't finish your drink. <laughs> you didn't finish, you guys didn't finish your drink. That's the first rule of thumb. No alcohol abuse. You don't get a drink until you finish your first drink. That's like bartending 101. You don't give people, you don't let people waste alcohol. Duh. Hey, hey, hey put it. <laughs> what, what drink? You. There, that's your drink. This you is your drink. It. This is the you one that you finish. chose. This, this isn't mine. Well, you bought it, so it's not my <laughs> responsibility. You bought it, it's not my responsibility. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you bought it, hey, you didn't ask, you just brought it, so like, I'm just drinking it because you bought it. <laughs> when are you leaving? Like tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> He's not leaving soon enough. Hey, you got, you got extra content, free content. I got free content, guys. All right, well, I don't know. Actually, I, I, was, I was considering paying you tonight, but actually, <laughs> maybe just Mega, because he's really earning it. <laughs> That's good, good content. All right, well, I don't know if this is going to be good. This but big, occasionally, but. I mean, it's, it's risky, but occasionally, if you invite a drunk on your channel, you might get lucky. Yeah, you get lucky. Well, okay. Yeah. All right, so cheers, right, cheers. Come back, come back, come back. All in good fun. All right, Mega, explain to us what's going on here. What What is this next entree? The ramen. The ramen with no soup, right? With no soup. Okay, and this is a first. I mean, honestly, there's no soup? There's no soup. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> there you go. Oh, this is great. <laughs> this is bigger than my brain. Oh my gosh. Going in. That's so funny. I got my bite. <laughs> hey, they, you said a bite, so you have to finish the whole thing. That's a fair game. That's a bite. <laughs> okay, so it's, it's, it's a dry noodle. There's nothing wrong with the dry noodle. Oh. And and we prepared it according to the instructions. Well, so. we wait, we waited a little too long. Okay, so you, you're gonna pass on this one. Well, okay, let me try it. Let me try it. Let me try it at least. <laughs> <laughs> There's no taste. <laughs> and we got ramen number two. This one's got a little bit of juice, boys. This one's skimming, so yeah. Oh, okay. We got the soup. Okay, Here. yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. Redemption. We are good. And how does scammon work? Can you explain that to the people at home? You, you, you dip it in yeah. here, right? I mean, we got we got the soup right here, right? And there's toppings too somewhere around here on the table. We have toppings for both. Oh wait, now you. Now oh, that's, you that's spicy. Sancho, no, wait, it's wait, Sancho. Sancho, it's spicy chili oil. Hit it. Well, I'm mixing. You insert. That's what she said. Hi. There you go. <laughs> Okay, so right, what? It, that's a uh, sp spicy chili oil. Okay. All right. Bon appetit, boys. After you. Okay, so tantamen. It should be. No, it's what scammon. is it called? Scammon. What's the difference between tantamen and scammon? I, uh, I think if they kind make, of um, I think if they make scammon spicy. I think it turns into tons of it, but what, what was the guy's uh, name? Chef, uh... This your, is really your, good. Your, your, uh, your moderator. What was his name? Oh, Restaurant Man. Restaurant yeah. Man will clarify for us. But I, that's my theory. I'm not saying I'm correct, but that's my guess. <laughs> oh my god, it's spicy. <laughs> you put... That was Sancho. Sancho. Yeah. Sancho pepper. It's like cocaine. Legal cocaine. Well, you don't... It numbs you don't your whole mouth, it numbs your tongue, and it goes back into your throat. Is that what cocaine feels like? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> How I know? Well, you said it was... What do you, what do you think? I'm a product of You said species? it was like cocaine, so I was like, I think you would know... Whatever. It's exactly the same without the um, psychedelic... It's the, but the numbness is exactly the same. Right, so there. Right. Yeah, it's not as psychedelic. Mm. To answer your question, Your Majesty. Very good. It's really good. No, it's well, really the, good. The dipping, the dipping sauce. How come good. this isn't in a ball? Isn't ramen supposed to be in a ball? What the heck is it on a plate for? Skimming. What were we thinking? For a presentation? Right, and ram ramen belongs in a ball. But it is spicy though. It is a little like the spice hits later, like delays spice effect. Okay. I'm gonna, delay I'm gonna do a little bit more. Whenever I something, whatever it like, hits me as like indifferent or weird or strange, I don't, I can't really figure it out. I always go in for a second bite. That's that's the rule on the Eric mm -hmm. Surf Six Channel. Yeah. So, I mean, typically it's uh. It's easier the second time around. But not always. <laughs> so it still, still, still feels like cocaine. And um, what kind of noodles are these, you guys? Would you, are these ramen noodles, udon noodles? And what's the difference? Uh, you got a Ross restaurant, man. I think they're kind of, they kind of have more kinda like in the a middle? udon. They kind of have more like a udon texture. Yeah. They're a little more thicker. Yeah, what are you guys feeling? I'm feeling the Sancho. There's a lingering. Is it Sancho? It's Sancho. Yeah, so it's it's a Japanese spice and pepper. I think it's one of the more like unique, like profiles of smell out there. It's, right? Yeah, I've never like I've never encountered anything that like unique and it's it's and distinct. It's, it has a very distinct way of like presenting its smell. And and it's a bit. It's not ubiquitous. It's. You only eat it with a few different things, right? Like I know, it's unagi, limited. like the the use for sancho eel. is limited. It's limited. Yeah, and and as it should be, I think, because if it was yeah, overused, then like yeah, it is. It's like a it has that like a only special occasion type of vibes, you know. There you go. 
Yeah, but you know, that's it adds. It's good. It's good. It's interesting. It's interesting. Did we? Sancho, Japanese sancho. What is that for English? Restaurant man. Look that up. Wikipedia that. What is that in English? It's it's it's. I've looked it up. I've know. looked it up before, and um, I don't know. Haven't been able to actually legitimately translate it. Can you explain how this works? Oh, all right. So, um, what is this? Gambatte jagariko. Just, right, just so open it. Okay. See so these snacks. They come dry, right? Okay. It's like it's like cup noodle. Same concept, right? You get dry snacks. Pour in some hot water right over here, mega. And last time we totally screwed this up because we went all the way to the top. We're just gonna just go halfway. And it's supposed to taste like potato salad. Mashed potato. Mashed potato salad. Okay, and then Mashed we're just we're okay, and then you it. start stirring right away. Oh, you do? Yep. Oh, so just pull that sucker out. Yeah, start stirring right away. Well, I feel chopsticks. I feel like chopsticks. Okay, that's fine too. Right? Yeah. It, it takes a while. I think that's the deal. You got to break it down slowly. We have finally made it to dessert. Yes, we have. And the dessert is mashed potatoes. That's good. So, okay, let's prepare some forks and go in. Yeah, let's go. We have prepared. We gotta eat while it's hot. Wait, aren't you gonna put in a little butter? No, do it. Let's do it. No, um, it as no. is first, and then if it necessary, we'll put butter. Okay, put butter. It's necessary. It needs okay. butter. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Like you guys, you just like you don't even give me a the chance. The dude is like... slow to the draw. Hey guys, I don't know why you're in such a rush. Like, you know, <laughs> I don't know why you're in such a rush? Because we're trying to get some. Yeah. Yeah, well. Like how many people we lost on that? More, more butter. More butter. You can never go wrong with more butter, right, chef? There you go. Hit me. Would you like a little bit of mashed potatoes with your butter? All right, give it a go. Uh, you guys go I'll first. All right, the butter. So butter potatoes, and this is salad flavor jagadiko mm -hmm. snacks by the Karabi company. Is it creamier now that you added the butter? It is. Yeah, I, I just tasted it like with the butter. Yeah. Not bad. That's not bad, right? Yeah, I'm like, that's, that's actually not bad. Right? That's actually not bad. Like, if, if you didn't know, something like If this. you didn't know it was a potato chip before we started, for something that's like a dollar, buck fifty, I don't know how much they are, like a buck fifty. It's that's actually not bad. It's a, it's <laughs> a good, it's a fairly good quality poor man's potato, but, like mashed potato, right? Butter though, butter though, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, you guys tried it without the butter, so I don't know, but I really think butter, right? Yeah. yeah. I think, I think it's perfect. I think we got the water level that's right. Surprisingly it's good. Perfect. What? That's surprisingly there good. You go. <laughs> So basically, you're converting a Japanese snack into mashed potatoes, with, but just by adding some hot water and butter. All right, let's move on to the sweet stuff, the proper desserts. The Tim Tams. The Tim Tams, that's right. We are going to do, by popular demand, we are going to do the Tim Tam Slams from Samantha, who's that? Samantha oh, oh my gosh, she's like so famous. She subscribes to, to our YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't believe this is happening to me. I mean, she's as good as gold. All right, so these are her snacks that she sells, and these cost, it's a thousand yen for three of these guys. And what are they? They're milk snacks? What are they calling them? Butter? What does that say in Japanese? My God, go ahead. It's salty chow milk flavored. Okay. Like, like it makes it like you're giving out cards. <laughs> There's many different flavors, and what is he? I chose the caramel flavor. Okay, you guys ready? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Here we go. Mm. They're like two dollars each. Wow, that is like incredibly rich. Almost too rich. Oh, damn. I like the best caramel snack ever. That is very rich. Oh my gosh. And the texture's kind of interesting too, where the outside feels a little soggy, but when you crunch, when you eat the inside, like there's like the salt's a little crunchy. You know? Yeah. Is that right? It's, it's interesting. A, it's interesting texture. I don't know, but it's just squinty. A little too much. A little too much. I like it. You like it? Mm. Yeah. 
I love like, it. Do you like sweets? Not so much. But this one is an exception. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, Mega said it. He's like, if he's an exception, I'll listen to Mega. <laughs> okay, Mega. Next up, you're in charge of the Tim Tam Slams. Yeah, that's good. And then we've got two types of Tim Tams here. We've got the white chocolate ones and the originals. Okay, so in order to do this, you got to you got to bite off the corners, okay? And then you're gonna we're all gonna go into the milk at the same time, and then you suck it. You suck it hard. That's what she said. Just drop. <laughs> That's what she said. Okay, Megan's going first. Okay, and then eat the whole thing. Does that work for you? How you going, mate? It's similar to the Oreo. What? Not a Kit Kat? No. Okay. Whoa. All right. She's saying okay. It's an Australian Oreo. She's saying it's an Australian Oreo. Okay, Damn. good. That's hot takes. Um, am I allowed to say no comment? I thought coveting was like your main thing. <laughs> I'm not really a milk guy. Maybe that's the problem here. You don't got milk? To be continued, I'm going to try this with coffee again in the future. Wait, today, right? Not today. Uh, another time. Right. But it was an interesting experience. It, it The chocolate just melted away and I, I just it was like it tasted like baby food mm -hmm. too mushy so maybe with hot milk it might be better coffee i think i'm gonna try it with next time so but definitely interesting that was a, it was a cool experience okay dude you're up milk shots milk shots milk shots not bad all right you well milk shots, it dude. is a little full so <laughs> God, Japanese milk is so good. <laughs> you know, it's like the most underrated thing here is like Japanese milk, so good. Like you look at the percentage of fat that they put in these things, like was like, it's like 3.5% fat. Like this just makes it so rich. Like Japanese milk is so underrated. All right, so here's the Tim Tans. I call them, well, he called them, what was it? Uh, Oreos. Oreos. So he thinks it's Oreos. I think I'm more on Tim Team Kit Kat. So, well, well, well let's see. let's see. Hmm. Yeah, coffee does sound good with this. But, Come on, suck it. That's what she said. Mmm. My God. That's hard. You gotta suck hard. <laughs> you gotta suck really hard on this. Oh my god! Like you gotta put your all in it. Like it's a lot of work to that's, get it going. That's what he said. <laughs> like you gotta put in a lot of work. You gotta go like, oh, oh, oh my god, it's so thick. I get why you say it's an Oreo. It makes it a little soggy. Once you suck it through, like for seriously, not when you make it a little soggy like an Oreo, it does taste a little better. But, in my opinion, it's a little too sweet, but it was good. Coffee. I understand why you would do coffee. This with coffee would definitely be good. Okay, so what time is it, Mega? It's time to rate this meal. All right, and I think dude's got it. You should go first. Do you remember how the rating scale works? It's oh, okay. uh, one to six dude heads. Since you're the dude. I am the dude. One being a yuck and six being the top of the scale. A nom 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 or uh, it's lit, y'all. And it's for the entire meal, correct? Yeah, the, the entire, entire meal, meal including the drinks, the whiskey man, the all this. With the, with the focus on the quality of the vending machines, because th that's what the main part of this vending is. It's, most of it came from a vending machine. How so. much was this? Uh, the... Cost of everything will be linked down in the video description. I'll add that later, but it's around how much is it? hundred. It's over. It's about a hundred dollars. Because price is a big factor when I rate. So okay for the whole meal. Yeah, the I mean, and it was it fed it fed four of us and we have leftovers. But yeah, yeah hundred dollars. Four of us for this quantity. Each I mean, like yeah, it was about hundred US dollars for the whole thing. I really like the steak, which we we really liked it, so we finished it all. Right. 
Yeah, that's what we did. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that vanished immediately. The steak with the little bit of salad was really nice. I also like the salmon here. I don't know. I just love beer, so anything that pairs with beer is kind of like my weakness. I think we, you know, we kind of failed on the noodles a little bit, but they're still good, you know. Yeah, we know. need. To eat, I mean, if you're gonna prepare noodles, you gotta eat them right out of the fresh, gate. Fresh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But but the problem is, if you eat them right away, then you're gonna get filled up. So we wanted to go with the meat first. So yeah, so that's our preparation fail. So where are you gonna go, Mega? Overall, I'm ranking. gonna go four, four out of six. Okay, and. Uh, I like what, what did you like? Oh, the salmon? Oh. This, this one? Yeah, this one. That's okay. good. The salad was good, too. Sorry, I forgot to mention. The salad was really good. That was really good. Okay. And I'm going to go six out of six. And I thought the Wagyu from a vending machine was a new experience. Yeah. And the quality of the meat was excellent. And the sukiyaki was really seasoned well. The noodles I could care less about because I don't really like noodles anyway. So it doesn't make any difference to me. Cup ramen is the same as a thousand yen bowl of ramen to me. Or it, it doesn't matter. The chef salad was a step up tonight. The namatamago, I had a problem breaking that. We didn't get it on camera, but uh, yeah, the raw egg was a fail. And it's good to have a fail, but I think best of all, I, I really feel comfortable. Really feel like we nailed the jagadiko. That was good. The homemade mashed potatoes. That was. I feel like we nailed good. this. That was surprisingly good. I'm not kidding. That was and to be honest, when I bought these, these gold, whatever these things are called, this, these things were a thousand yen for three of them, and it was this tiny little package, and I thought, well, that's going to be a ripoff. But Samantha, you came through. Came through, and the Tim Tam Slam was fun. I'll do it with uh, coffee next time. Overall, it was a great meal, and, and the boys are back in town. Remind me, what happens when we, we give us, one of us gives a six rating? We do you remind away. him because he doesn't know anymore. We give away, get some snapbacks. And do we still have some in the room over there? Yeah. There's three. Okay, there's, oh, we have three left. And we're actually, we're getting ready to make some new ones. So the only thing you need to do to try to win to get some snack pack. First of all, what is to get some snack pack? Some people don't know. It's like the best goodies from Japan. They're equivalent of like, they're equivalent of Tim Tams. Aren't they? They're better than Tim Tams. You guys know, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We got, we got to sell it. This is the most important part of the video. You guys know it. Because we're, we, want, we want to get interaction and comments from the people. And the reason why is because we want to know how you guys feel about production quality and what you thought about our videos. Because we are here for our, the long run. We're going to keep making videos and we keep wanting to make them better. And we listen to you guys and we respond to your comments. Your feedback is important. That's what I meant to say. So on that note, we are going to close this video out. Eric, Mega, Dude, dude out. Okay, so yeah, all right, we gotta shoot that again because he blew the. Uh, yeah. Okay, you gotta do it with this hand. Oh, okay. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> Wait, now it's a right hand? <laughs> okay. <laughs> On behalf of myself and the dude, dude. Scott and the Mega Brain 6100, I'm Eric. We are out. Out. We are out. Ow, that's it. The wheeze, you're bringing your hand up. R goes to your eyebrow. Out is off screen. Okay. Now, what did I just say? <laughs> <laughs> On behalf of myself, the dude's got it. Mega Brain 6100. We are out. That was perfect. That was perfect, right, Andy? That better have been perfect because we are not doing it again.